the season of final projects. And I wanted to share some tips with you as well as my students for how to work more efficiently. Now, one of the, the requirements for my final project is that the students do a customer board, a color board, and a concept board. And of course, with those boards, that means that they need to also include images. Now, one of the things they'll have to do with those images, and it's something that a lot of us have to do for our fashion mood boards and even for social media posts, is to remove the background so that you can put just that image on a different background or on a different board. So I'm going to show you three simple methods to do this in Photoshop. The first method is probably the simplest. And it's a new feature added to Photoshop, I believe in the 2019 update, but a lot of people don't know it's there. The function is called select subject and it works really well if you have a dominant object on the page with a less prominent background. So like a model on a runway. First, make sure you're on the object selection, quick selection or magic wand tools. Once you choose one of those tools, the option to select subject will appear in the options bar. Click the option and give Photoshop's artificial intelligence a few seconds to find the edges of the model. The function usually works perfectly, but if there's a few spots it missed or it's selected a little more than it should, you can clean up the selection with the lasso or quick selection tools. If select subject isn't working well, my next best tool for this is the quick selection tool. With this tool, you drag or click on the areas of the picture you want to select. It will begin to create a selection that will snap to the edges of your picture. If you happen to go outside the area of the object you want to select, which can happen if the colors of the background in the object are very close, press and hold the Alt or Option key and push against the selection to almost nudge it back into place. The magic eraser is also a really great option to get rid of the background, particularly if it's a solid color. I tend to use this most when I have a sketch to add to a board and I want to get rid of the white paper background. Go to the eraser tool and if you right mouse click, docked with the eraser is the magic eraser. To get rid of the white background, just click on it. You can also choose to remove all of the white on the layer or just the areas that you click on by checking or unchecking the box called contiguous in the options bar. With contiguous checked, it will remove the white only in specific areas that you click. When it's unchecked, one click will remove any area that is white on that layer. So as usual, Photoshop gives you several options to do one thing. So if one method isn't working out quite as well, you can always switch to a different method to get it done effectively and efficiently. Thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure you check out the links in the description to take a class with me for some great freebies or to schedule a call if you need help mapping out your fashion startup plan. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.